Hey guys, Brian here with Bear USA, the fine art photography project that contrasts natural beauty with man-made decay. On this episode, we're going to be exploring abandoned places in New York. If you go down to the comments section, you can skip to the location that interests you the most. We're going to be starting out at the Yonkers Power Station in Yonkers, New York, also known as the Gates of Hell. And then we're going to go to the Boyce Thompson Institute, which is also in Yonkers. After that, we're going to head over to the New York City Farm Colony, which is in Staten Island, New York. And then we're going to go to the Sea View Hospital, which is also in Staten Island, New York. I got to apologize ahead of time about the Sea View. It got a little dicey in there and I had to get out, so I didn't get as much footage as I would have liked, but I got enough to make a video. After that, we're going to head to the Kings Park Psychiatric Center in Long Island, New York. This is a huge complex. I want to remind you guys to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. The more momentum we get, the better. Um, I also want to remind you that I've explored all 50 states. There's a lot more to come and there's a lot more in this collection if you haven't seen it. So get out there and explore and without further ado, let's check out these places in New York. I'm at the Yonkers Power Station in uh, Yonkers, New York. This location is pretty awesome, but I think that they're doing construction here and uh, one of the guys I talked to before I came in said it's all camered up. And uh, I think I should be quick in and out um, if they are doing construction here during the week. I'm probably not gonna be able to do a shoot, but at least we can check it out a little bit. So they definitely have new lights hanging up in here, so they are doing stuff in here. It was pretty cool in there. I would have liked to spend a little bit more time, but I didn't entirely feel comfortable with it. Um, and it's huge, but I think I can find something better around here. I'm at another location in Yonkers. Um, I don't know exactly what it is, but it looks pretty cool. So I had to stop and check it out.
giant granite ball on the stairs. called the Boyce Thompson Institute um, and it's pretty cool it's got a lot of graffiti a lot of different rooms but all the rooms are kind of the same in the basement it was pretty neat um, guessing it was some sort of horticulture or gardening Institute maybe I'll look it up later now I'm on Staten Island at a place called New York City Farm Colony um, it's just a ton of buildings hidden in the woods and I'm sure I'll find plenty to shoot here.
plenty to work with here. That much is for sure. Um, a lot of hallways and empty rooms. But I could totally do a photo shoot here. So this is definitely a high contender for New York. Um, I've gotten a little bit spoiled with some of the locations I've been, so I'm getting a little bit more picky. But the truth of the matter is, is that there's a lot of cool stuff here. There's a lot of shots I can take. It's easy access. I don't feel stressed out. I don't feel like I'm gonna get in trouble. Um, and there's lots of cool textures everywhere. So I think it's a pretty good spot. So now I'm at Seaside or Seaview Hospital. Um, there's some stuff around the corner. There's an active facility right up the street. And uh, there's a path here. We'll see if it leads inside. There's a way inside. There is a way inside. It's crazy. explore that place more but I didn't know it was up with those radios man they really sounded like police radios and I really wasn't having that I'm supposed to have dinner with my family tonight not go to jail so I left as quickly as I could I'm up here on Long Island in uh, Kings Park Psych Center uh, with my buddy Trey here hey, from hey. New York and uh, we ran into this really cool guy named Joe and he's gonna uh, show us a few entrances here and uh, hopefully get us inside some of these places without getting caught. So, let's we'll see what we find. So we made it inside the building. Joe says that there's a morgue in here. Oh, we could have just climbed up on the roof and that's how we get out. So, easier way to get out. Let's see what this place is all about.
trust these grids. Hey, hey, hey. I don't trust them, man. Trey and I just got done checking out the Kings Park Psychiatric Facility uh, here on Long Island. You know what, like if you look at this video and all the stuff I saw, you would think I would definitely want to shoot here. But I don't know, it's a lot of the buildings, like the main one we went into, the first one, it's really like once you've seen one room, you've seen them all. And if I'm going to go from building to building, all of a sudden I've spent my whole shoot walking around and not doing that much shooting. So chances are, even though this place is really awesome and wicked cool to explore, I'm probably not going to shoot here because um, I do have some other options. Trey, what do you think about the uh, whole explore? It was, it was uh, a nice adrenaline rush. I was able to walk my footsteps in these old, historic, like weird abandoned places that feel like they're still a little occupied. It was really cool though. I'd never done it before and I highly recommend it to anyone. So, we'll see uh, where I decide to shoot and uh, on to the next location. Just got done shooting with Caitlin here at the New York Farm Colony. Caitlin was amazing. Her poses are amazing. She has a variety of poses. I don't even have to tell her to do anything. She just has amazing poses um, and the natural beauty really shines in the chaos and destruction. So I'm really happy with the shoot. We almost got arrested, we didn't, we finished an amazing <laughs> shoot. Caitlin, what did you think about it? It was awesome. Uh, yeah, aside from almost getting arrested and running through the woods, it was great. <laughs> so, on to the next one. So I'm 
back in the woods again. I'm going back to that place I almost got caught at twice to see if I can recover my GoPro. Um, I called my dad to have him talk me out of this craziness, but he actually talked me into it. So, here I go. So I went inside the building, um, couldn't find it anywhere, given up all hope. And then on the trail leading out from the building, got the GoPro back. Alright man, 